Ah, how fortuitous. You're already here. Just give me a minute. It is time for some more Hearts of Ironing. I've seen Germany form a super faction three too many times, so we're just gonna play a good old historical Hearts of Iron game as one of the best nations in this game, in terms of fun. The Soviet Union! Jesus, Merlin! He's such a nice cat. I love him. He's such a good boy. Melin didn't stop the recording, but he fucking muted myself. Aren't pets fun? Yes, you. You're the bastard. You record a fun game of Hearts of Iron, and then after a while you just realize, hmm, the fifth time that he jumped on the table, he somehow muted me on OBS, and now I can just toss that recording as well. Just a normal game of Hearts of Iron, we want to go with the parks of Meninism and Lenin. There we go, that sounds good to me. That way we get the AA going once the civil war is over. There is Omsk, there is Omsk. There we go, Tchaikovsky, just to find Turkey. So let's get those two tanks over here, just to manage supply a little bit. Why are you reshuffling? Where are those tanks coming from? Okay, I'm just gonna stop this. I feel like somebody's making fun of me. The heat, man. It's just disgusting because I can just feel the sweat running down every part of my skin. Are you serious? What what kind of bad RNG is this? He infiltrated Tomsk and I installed an Omsk. Oh, that sucks. Guess we have to go to Tumen first. What? I've never had that happen. <laughs> I don't want to record right now, man. I'm actually gonna save after I set everything up because this is starting to get on my nerves. And it's all your fault. You know what you did. Don't even pretend to sleep right now. I can just see pools of sweat here on my desk, just from my arms. It's so disgusting. Yes, that was the problem. Because usually I go for the Siberia ones. And now you get less paranoia. Also, this image always tickles me a little bit. Just Stalin going for cooperation against Stalin. Oh, yes. That's so good. We need more debuffs. Because that means people are getting shot. And that means paranoia is gonna stay low. That means we can actually go to ignite the flames. Stalin has been pretty active here in Siberia. There we go. Paranoia is back down. We have saved those boys. They can't be shot now by Stalin. I guess it's time for the fourth international. And the cool thing about this is just, you can order this. The war against Turkey and Romania. Don't even need to bother with microing. It's worth it to micro the first push here because the AI is not confident, but you can easily just push this. So that's very bad. NKVD is always a very bad debuff. No, we can't afford it. We have to keep your Godan power. And just hope that Stalin doesn't go too crazy. Vasilevsky, Tomoshenko, Bluk, Yarkulik. I hope you weren't important to my plans. We can go for the Trotskyists. Actually, wait a minute. That's not even worth it. Well, let's just get to Kashevsky and then... Yeah. Granted, we can't finish the war yet. We still need to finish this front first. Oh, an admiral. Yes, please. Where did you come from? I didn't tell the tanks to go here. We can infiltrate here. And then I might as well go for some smaller ones here as well. And we can secure Moscow as well. And I suppose it's time to ignite the flames. Uh, it's not time to ignite the flames. Actually, this is... Yeah, this might take a little while. We can probably go for heavy industry ones. Can you not just leave this front line, please? I would like to puppet Romania. It just makes managing the, um, uh, not compliance, but, um, yeah, compliance. <laughs> it just makes managing compliance easier. We ignite the flames. As for Chiang Kai-shek, in the game that I played yesterday, and I always know it's a bad idea to do it, it's just chaos, and there's no real reason why you would kill Chiang Kai-shek. It never goes well. Let's do it. There we go. We will also just annex Turkey completely. I would like to puppet them as always, but you know, it is just stupid in the civil war if, if we don't do this. If you look at what our potential leaders are, we have the myth, the man, the legend, ISP, the permanent revolutionary, which is just bad. <laughs> Negative VP gain, longer justifications, less subversive activities cost, which is justifications, probably also guarantee independence, improved relations, stage coups if you don't have Laris' stores, not boost party pop if you don't have Laris' stores. It's just useless if you take him as your leader. You do not get 
Trotsky as an advisor and just look at that, army XP gain 10%, division or 10%. Lev Kamenev gets stab, you get research speed, you get daily compliance gain. But then you also can't get him. Wait, you can have Kamenev as an advisor and a country leader, he doesn't have a restriction now. Yo, Kamenev is busted! 0.07 compliance gain. It fucking sucks because it's Trotsky, but Trotsky is just, if he didn't have any modifiers, I think he would be better. And that's just sad. You know, if I get a mod that just replaces his profile with Trotsky, then I think the majority of you won't even notice. I mean, not that I think my viewers are stupid. I wouldn't notice. There we go. That makes it better, right? Anyway, uh, let's just, let's just civil war. Civil war time, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Can you stop sneezing? I'm trying to record here. Just produce a bunch of those horses. We're gonna turn all of you into these. It's just not worth it to do it, but it's more RP. Let's go for RP today. There we go, China joined the Allies, because Chiang Kai-shek got shot. And the great part is because Japan is at war with the Allies very early, the UK will just get war support and France will also get war support, so they can just mobilize very quickly and just make it harder for Germany. I just have to resist the urge to invite communist China into the faction because it's real. Can almost focus entirely on the West at this point. And with that, we can go for Wycon. Actually, let's just go for Total Mob, honestly. That way, we actually get something out of the Civil War. We're gonna stop pushing for now. We might have to demo. We don't have manpower anymore because of Total Mob, which we can fix by getting women in the workforce going. Oh, that looks. Yes, the Soviet Union has been defeated. We are, of course, staying with Moscow. It is the best decision. Then we can shoot the counter revolutionaries. We shall form Trotsky Grad. Just because it's so stupid. Yep, we do need war support somehow. 10% war support. Where can I get 10% war support? Probably from the Civil War. <laughs> Suppose we can rush down here. I mean, we get strikes, but strikes don't slow our war support, so that's technically fine. It's not great, but we can work with that. Sadly, we have to pick Yegorov right now. We don't have anybody else who can give us army XP. Oh, ah, uh, ooh, okay. I was wondering why you would ever go down this path, but yeah, with this you have Trotsky. This one is just so much better. This is useless. 15% attack for one year. System decentralization. Main benefit, we get 10% war support, which should stop the demobilized economy thing. There we go, we have demobilized our economy. Kind of. We need to go to the five-year plan now. Like, we wasted so much time with this crap. I, oh, I called it. I called it that we need to manage this. And then it was like, mm, I'm just not going to. Like, sometimes I just forget myself. But we can also start working on our flame tanks. We cannot start working on our flame tanks. We don't have the proper... We don't have support equipment. There we go. Latvia joins us freely, willingly. What about Afghanistan? It's threatened by us. It's likely opinion. Yeah, let's just improve relations a little bit. Hello, Afghanistan. What about Iran? Yes, you would also like to join us. It's just better because we get more spies. What about you, Iraq? Oh, Iraq likes me as well. What about you, Saudi Arabia? Probably not. We need to flip you. Okay, that's fine by me. Oh yes, Molotov Ribbentrop. Thank you. There we go. We can bypass a bunch of stuff because we have the claims in Poland now. And we can go to the Balkan. Yeah, Communist China, I know you're holding well, very really well and you want to join us. But you can also just join the Axis. That makes much more sense. Get the resource slot. And then we rush down to the five-year plan stuff. Hungary! Why did you... Why did you join the Allies? I guess they wanted Slovakia, Germany refused, and then Hungary got angry. Third five-year plan. More consumer goods, which is bad. But we do get buffs if we go down here. Why don't we have women in the workforce anymore? Women in the workforce is a war thing, wartime thing. I'm a, I'm a doo-doo. This we can get dispersed for. Then we go down here, industrial modernization. We get a two years ahead of time penalty reduction for industry. And then we can just finish our industry focuses research super early in this game. No, we need more war factories. Now we need to do the, 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 the military. That way we can use our... You cancelled the non-aggression pact. I shall honor the promise that I made the last time I played this game. We are gonna create a few garrison divisions. We're not gonna need them against Germany, but I also have suffered enough. Just some easy 10 whips. And congratulations, the Flamingo! Additionally, we can give you some... I fucking hate myself. 
Oh, that's so stupid. Get cheap doctrines. If you go with Trotsky and the Supreme Soviet, you're gonna have like 300 or even more maximum command power. It's kind of cool. We went to military production way too early. It's fine though. <laughs> it's the AI. Don't you dare get away from my keyboard. Yes, 25 air XP for free. And I'm definitely gonna send some troops to China, especially if I caused all of this. I don't care, Saudi Arabia. You are gonna go communist, no matter what you want. I still want to see a communist oil baron. Oh, is it time for some Barbarossa ning? Yar. Oh, actually, thank you. That makes the front line so much smoother. I think I want a few more divisions here now that I look at this. I'm gonna see if I can intimidate Hitler a little bit with this. Boom. Ah, fuck me. I didn't want to do it like that. Yes, that's certainly gonna intimidate Hitler if I shoot my entire armed forces. Whatever. I'm just gonna consider this an additional challenge. <coughs> what? Germany. <coughs> we... How long were we at war? A month? Yeah, this was a month. You lost 600,000 people in a month. There we go, desperate measures and immediately we just have green everywhere. It's the glory of the Soviet Union. To think I wanted more meat on the front line. Okay, actually you are starting to push. I suppose what we could do is go down to extensive conscription. We should have enough manpower now. Yeah, let's go back down to extensive conscription. We're at 5% here. And we have 5 million stockpile. And then we can prospect for a little bit of aluminum. Germany, is that it? Is that everything you had? Ah, there we go. A little bit. They still have a little bit of juice left. That's probably something bad to say during... Nope. I'll take that back. I meant juice, not juice. You know what? Let's just get it out of the video, right? I also don't have to worry about Germany just using 50 million manpower again. Because this time, you only have Germany. You don't even have Britain. I suppose they have communist China on their side, but... <laughs> What's Kami China gonna do for you, huh? Yes, there we go. Now we have the numbers. Now we can actually make use of the fighters. How many fighters do you have, Germany? I'm an idiot. Why am I looking at that? About 3k. Okay, we can change that. I mean, we are gonna change that. Oh, that's Saudi Arabia. Yes, you are now on the good side. Feel free to write it in the comments, like just a path. Because somebody said like, you have like 500 factories in 1941 or something. If you go down one of the alt history Soviet paths without cheesing the US and such. <laughs> that was so quick. You lost 2000 planes. What about your manpower? Around 150k and you're on scraping the barrel. <laughs> I mean, you're still gonna get some men trickling in, but still, that was pathetic. Yeah, that, there's no way this was it. He's probably on like 10% right now. How much have you mobilized? Yes, there we go. I've played that game too much, man. The fact that I knew that it was at around 10% with those numbers, I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good at all that I know that. <laughs> Who's gonna do something? You okay? Iraq? Oh, don't tell me you're not back. We have killed 7 million for 600k, and we've not done anything. We just stood here while Germany killed itself. <laughs> oh, Bulgaria. More like Bulgon. Why is the flamingo here? He shouldn't even be here. Great, now I'm missing one division. Uh, my OCD. My non-existent OCD. Here I was wondering why this battle was going so easy against the Soviets. Uh, against the Germans. Why we killed 7.5 million with only losing 700k. They have new recruits. They have new special divisions. Special forces, indeed. Oh, fuck you, Lithuania again. Ah, oh, screw you, man. That's 20 divisions that you just left. Fine. I guess my allies are now in the war. I don't know what I'm supposed to produce now. I have too much stuff. There we go, let's get railway guns going. I don't know. This Germany is not really threatening anybody right now. No wonder with those divisions. Oh, we already took Berlin. Actually, that's a port. There's another port. There's another port. Albania is full of ports. Ooh, we can actually push into Italy. I'm always happy to see that because the Italian puppet, so long as you're not going for achievements, the Italian puppet is actually kind of cool. If you're going for achievements, then it's absolutely annoying. You have to take them. Oh, that's a lot of divisions. Okay, there was 200k. Could have been more. It just sucks when you're forced to take them and you can't even say no. Oh, Germany is already gone. Ooh, seriously, that just didn't feel right. <laughs> we actually have Vichy now. There we go. Just check out Italy. I mean, there's not even divisions here because it's Italy. We got them. They flipped them very quickly. What the fuck? Why did this cap to Greece and this one to the UK? And who's still part of the act? Communist China, of course. I knew it was gonna come and bite me in the ass. 
how do you get to... I guess there's one way to get to Communist China. As always, I'm not prepared for a naval battle. No! Our boats... They were disrupted. Call you in. Uh, should have just called allies. Or can I do this? Ah, there we go. At least that works. Fall of Tokyo. <laughs> the Russians and the Americans have arrived at the same time. That's gonna be a fun base race. Again, the communist threat is receding. I don't know why. I feel like that shouldn't bother me. There we go, Japan is gone. We actually did get a decent chunk of Japan. Uh, of war point score. Uh, I'm gonna take Korea. We could try and take China, but it's gonna be way too expensive. Oh wait, Hungary- Poland? Poland? What? Why is Poland in this peace deal? Why is Shanxi here? Seriously, why is Poland here? That makes no sense. Communist China is just gonna gobble up China now. I could ask for mill access here, but do I really want to? No. We have a border. I repeat, we have a border. Czechoslovakia. Whoa, seriously, our compliance gain is insane. We're at 60% and you can just see it tick up. I might have to play this path more often. Just the compliance gain is so fun. I wish more countries had something like this. Even if you have to invest heavily into um, collaboration, into getting this stuff, it would be so fun. It doesn't have to be worth it. It's just something where, okay, it's late game. I have way too much stuff to spend. Or even just building in a country, you know, building roads. I feel like that should give collaboration. Then again, the Romans weren't particularly liked either, even though they built roads. What? Paradox? Can you please explain this to me? What the gif just happened? I... I st why did we... Okay, these peace deals in this game make no sense. We got Poland in the peace deal with Japan. We just got Italy on its own. I'm, so I'm sorry, guys. We just got Italy on its own after I did a collaboration government on Bulgaria, Slovakia, Albania, Montenegro. So, there we go. Just give me Alexis, please. I wanna end this now. There we go, now we can do... You will live a happy life. Another 5% compliance growth speed. The left Soviets. Actually kind of fun. Not that much different from normal Soviet gameplay. A bit of a shame that ISP just isn't that great. Although I also missed uh, all of this. Uh, I can tell you, it's not that great. India for 50 PP, if they have more than 10% support for their communist party. They lose 10 stab, they lose 10 ideology drift defense they get 0.03 communism support and if after those 106 uh, 120 days we get a war goal against them if they have not flipped to communism kind of lame honestly i mean for 50 pp that's pretty cheap but it's just 0.03 communism support that's just so it's so little <laughs>